Salvete omnes, this is I'm Emilia, also known as the Martian Geek, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. And before we do anything else, there's a shining palm here. There it is. So I went ahead and refreshed Estelle's CP at Elmo Village. Let's see, we'll Shadow Spear one of them. And we'll grab that Sepeth up bonus with Estelle. I don't think there's much that Agate can actually do. I mean, I guess you could S-Craft, but it hardly seems worth it. Yeah. Agate, you are useless in this fight. Just saying. I forget if he have, actually has Shadow Spear, but that one didn't work. For that matter, I forget if Estelle has it. We'll try that again. And we'll do that. Wait, did that not give me any Sepeth? What? Maybe it was, uh... Oh, well, I got that one anyway. Good. And that one fled, and that one fled. Okay. So how much... Okay, I did get the maximum from that. Weird. I wonder why it didn't show up with the Stealth S-Craft. Well, anyway. Uh, there's another thing we have to do. And that is go over here. Yeah. Some of you might already know what I'm going over here for, what I'm doing. But, we have to go back to this area down here. Because I missed a chest, which I only noticed post-production, despite passing by it several times. Yeah, this one right here. That was bugging me. We got a Tira Balm. It's empty, diabolical. Again, I'm pretty sure we already had that message, but okay. Moving on. Time to do tar uh, time to do Carnelia Tower for real this time. So we'll just get back to where we were before. Watch out for all the crop munchers because I dare say we fought enough of those. And let's see. Wait, why am I going down here when the tower's up there? Up there. Whoop. There we go. And I'm actually going to pause for a little bit, and I'll be back momentarily. So, is it just me, or does it say Estelle on that sign? Well, with one L, but it's like Estelle Fiosius or something. No, my last name is Bright. Anyway... The fourth and final um, tetracyclic tower. Forgot the, I forgot what they were called for a second. So this is the Carnelia Tower. Isn't that what the sign said? Are the kidnappers really holding the professor here? Yep, look at the big jumble of footprints. If you need a hiding place, this would probably be a good place for it. Look out! Oh no, dogs! Monsters! <laughs> as I expected. So, we'll beat up some more doggos. Doesn't seem like they can do too much to us, but... Uh, let's see. Okay, 1180 HP. We have three characters, and I'm pretty sure they're lower level than we are at, are at this point. delay those two. <laughs> they especially can't do much to Agate. And speaking of Agate, let's use some of his crafts. Oh yeah, hitting four enemies with the point-targeted small... or... wow! Okay, maybe not hitting four enemies. Did he miss one or just... did he miss three or just two? Well, 
basically that. Ah, and I wish I could do Hurricane, but... Oh, used up most of the stealth CP on the Shining Pond. Yes? Cluster nice and close together, so my area effect uh, attacks will hit all of you. Except not that one. Well, I can't get all five of them, but I can get four, and that's not bad. Okay, yeah, Estelle's, or Agate's magic is not worth using here. I could do another Flame Smash or a Dragoon Edge. Oh, except it's a line area of effect, and those suck! Even when that one, even though that one's wider than a lot of them. Might as wow! Someone get this guy a hit quartz already, because he is missing everything. Do these have any elemental weaknesses? Uh, everything. Well, that's good. Let's do an aerial. And let's see. Mm. Let's do a Hellgate if they somehow survive this. Well, no, he'll cast that immediately. 3, 4, 9, 3, 2, 38, 4, 12. I'm just gonna have him stay put. Because he'll probably die to the Ariel. Or not. That works too. Not that it mattered much anyway. Should have hit that one with Agate. Definitely should have hit that one with Agate. Holy crap! I have never seen him miss this much. I've never seen any character miss this much. Uh, that was the wrong one. Lesson learned. Be careful when you choose your targets. Yes, go ahead, hit the person who only takes 40 damage from attacks. All it's doing is giving me more CP. And level up for Estelle. What are monsters like that doing here? Uh, attacking us. Chewing on bones, the usual. Oh, maybe. They're tied somehow to the men in black clothes. That seems like not the right facial expression for a sentence ending in a question mark, but okay. Got it in one. They've probably been trained for combat by our little friends in black. Trained? Ever since I started checking these guys out, I've gotten attacked by monsters constantly. Ain't no way that's a coincidence. I see. So that means that the checkpoint up on the mountain pass was attacked because you were there? I guess. Darn it, Agate, there you go ruining everything again. It was your old man who assigned me this gig in the first place. It ain't like it's been a night at the strip club for me either. That's the metaphor you go with? Strip club, huh? How very you. And once again, Estelle says what I was thinking. Uh, anyway, this reminds me, Gene mentioned something about that, right? About I get going to strip clubs? I don't think he did. Can you share some details? He showed up just before that whole Sky Bandit mess started and dumped it on me. Said something about some crap coming up that really couldn't wait. An easy job, he says. That old man always plays innocent. That is so very dad. And after the last couple of run-ins with them, there's no way I'm giving anyone else the satisfaction of catching them. I especially want to get that one little bastard. Which would be whom? Never mind. Let's just arrest these guys and rescue the professor. Yes, let's. And I guess... Wait, did everyone level up? Because Joshua's EP got restored. Huh. Well, apparently I'm not very observant. Go figure. So... Burb. 
And Burp is hiding. It is a Flame Velger. Very weak to Waterfall. Uh, waterfall. <laughs> Incredibly powerful, but weak against water. Incredibly waterfall, but weak against power, yes. Uh, that doesn't look incredibly powerful to me. Of course, if it gets a crit... Mm, should have had Joshua cast a, a spell at it. This is gonna hurt. Did not actually hurt that much. You know, for an enemy who got a critical and is described as being incredibly powerful, that was less than incredibly powerful. Didn't even give me much XP. And we got a red pepper. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense for a fire bird, but... Uh, what does the monster manual say about that? Uh, about them? Watch me go through every single um, possible button on my keyboard before I remember. There we go. Level 20. Um, I mean to faint and sleep. And actually, let's... Did we have an entry for the Shining Palm in here? Yeah, well, the S-Craft must have gotten us something, so... Because otherwise we'd have, we would have just gotten 50. An empty chest is a tragic thing indeed. Yes, you should put things like heart and lungs in it. And we get a black coat. Aha, you again! Alright, so who needs a new piece of equipment? Defense plus 80, magic defense plus 8. So, this time, Estelle gets it. And now Joshua's the weak one. Well, defensively, anyway. Let's attack this jellyfish monster first. There's a pellet swap. So, we have a pumpkin palm. Resistant to magic, can steal EP, and it's a dastardly yellow fluff. Eh, I'd say it's more orange than yellow, but close enough, I suppose. We also have a spike jellyfish. Rums old ruins, petrifies prey, that's not good. And divides after being wounded. That seems like it should hit both of them, but... Well, we know what I say about line AoEs. How do you like some roast pumpkin? Wow, he missed that too. It's amazing! At least it didn't get to take a turn and petrify us. Do we have a hit quartz that we can give Agate, actually? Maybe I should have actually opened his other two slots. Hindsight is 2020. Uh, let's see. Still want to keep haze on him. It'd be nice if I could give him enough earth for earth wall. Um. I could probably give up HP. He doesn't have healing magic anymore, but he has Chaos Brand. Monsters! And it's another Robber Trapper. Wow, wait, 220? I've never seen that as a weakness number. Yeah, we can use water and air magic on them. Unfortunately, Joshua has neither. What he does have is White Gehenna. And do I need any of the... Hmm... You know I could S-Craft here, actually. Or I could do that. Uh, except that would knock him out of the radius of Joshua's thing. Sadly, I suppose we'll just have to waste the Sabbath bonus. Let's go for those two. Agate will do what he does best. Smash stuff. And possibly get blown up. Oh, 
Not sure how much this magic will hurt, but I would guess more than the physical attacks would. Oh, they're all almost dead, but not quite. They're only mostly dead. Uh, I can't cast another white Gehenna. And, oh, I actually can. Yeah, for the sake of safety, we're gonna do that. Agate's gonna take a hit, but he's tanky, he can handle it. And it only did 66 damage anyway. I don't know what that status effect was, though. And we get mine three. The chest is decidedly empty. So, Robber Trapper. Hmm. Does not say what status effects they can inflict, so... I guess it doesn't particularly matter. So we have a choice of three pathways here. We'll go ahead and go left first. And let's see. Another burb. And this time it brought its little friends. <laughs> Go for a hurricane. Probably still won't do much damage, but it is critical. It is a critical hit, so that's something. Again, why are Estelle's craft so bad? Please tell me she gets better in Trails of Cold Steel 4. Eh, well, Flame Smash no longer hits more than one of them. Do I actually need any of the sepets from these things? Not particularly. Could have done a dual strike, but I think this will be fine. Every type of Sepith except the one I need most. Go figure. And we get EP Charge X. Nice. No soup for you! <laughs> ah, that's okay, that's what the recipe books are for. And that was all there was on this side. So back to this room, where the enemy, of course, respawned, and this time we're going right. Or east. You know, in some languages, they actually don't describe directions as left or right. They go by the compass points. Another bird, and... My kingdom for Janelle's... or Janelle? For Joshua's craft that hits an area. Still, though. Better off than Estelle. Wow, even with the hit three quarts, he's still missing. That's sad. <laughs> For being as well trained as Agate supposedly is, at least he doesn't. At least Estelle and Joshua don't miss enemies that are literally right in front of them as often as he does. He is Angry Boy. No, I'm good. Chest number two and tear a bomb. It's empty. You have only yourself to blame. So now, we go back to the middle again, and we go to the middle path. So third floor. A whole swarm of pumpkin palms. I do not think we need to fight that many, but we have the Haze Quartz. So we can just kind of walk past them. And whoops. Apparently that one didn't like us walking it past its friends. I teach you to suck out my magic. Anything over here. More pumpkin palms! Wait, how is that a surprise attack? 
Okay, good. It's wasting time trying to cast magic that it won't get time for. Unless, of course, Agate misses again. And I guess not even then. Congratulations, you actually hit something. So is there literally nothing else on this floor, at least that we can access from here? There's nothing in the middle of... Yeah, that's it. Okay, then. There's gotta be a stairway going down from another floor. But if, there, if it's not there, and it's not there. Ah, we have one of those fast, uh, fancy eight-way paths, except four of, at least four of the ways can't actually be traversed. Let's do that. And what? Okay. No elemental weaknesses. Ariel. Ariel is the weakness of everything. Not really, but... Yeah, that... That made the aerial not hit as many, but that probably did more damage anyway. Gotta say, for this being the last tower, I expected it to put up more of a fight. Maybe that's because of the haze quartz, who knows? I'm not actually having to fight that much and not having to get confused by the path layout that much either. I'll take it. And can I kill this thing before it divides? Almost, but not quite. <laughs> That's when we have to take the, re the remaining 4 HP ourselves. Bye bye So, what do you have going on here? Path that way. Is this Octopath Traveler? Because it sure looks like there are eight paths. <laughs> Anything around the perimeter? Okay, nothing there. I wonder if I should get rid of all these jellyfish before going exploring. I'll attack the bird. Hellgate those. And crit flame smash those. Or do that before. Whatever. And Hellgate one of them. There are definitely some downsides to the delay based battle system in this game. Well, apparently Estelle was jealous of Agate missing so much, and decided she wanted to try it for herself. Dear Abalm, it wouldn't be empty if you hadn't already looted it, now would it? Is that another message we've gotten again? And Hellfire Eggs! You will not find a finer empty chest. Fancy. So, Hellfire Eggs. Here we go, heals 500 HP and cures Confused, Sleep, and Faint. I actually have quite a few recipes that we could be using. We still have that potluck in a shell from, like, the first tower. <coughs> that was a while ago, and when did we get a third EP Charge X? <coughs> yeah. Uh, well, I lost my way, so... So that is the south side. Fine, we'll humor you and attack you. If you insist. Well, 20%. Whatever. Do you have any... Okay, just checking. Pretty sure Agate's main purpose here is Flame Smash. Yeah! 
They divided, but they did not conquer. And now they probably won't. You fool, by reducing your HP, you've merely made it easier for Ariel to kill you. See what I mean? Ooh, we healed 7 HP. So given that the magic it's casting isn't targeting any one of us... Well, no, it's targeting Ag Agate, never mind. Thought it might have been healing. But anyway, anyway, we got some flour from those jellyfish enemies. Because that's what jellyfish are used to produce, right? Alternatively, the pumpkin pie, uh, or the pumpkin palm was a pumpkin pie palm. Okay, so we have a pathway down on the north. Which I think is actually where we came from. Wait, no. We came from the south. Right? Okay, so we have pumpkin palms. More pumpkin palms. Okay, so don't go that way. East is up. South is wall. And respawning burb. And left, or west, is also up. So I guess we just pick a path and see where it goes. Ooh, double burb. And again, can't hit both of them. I don't think anyone even has any water magic right now, aside from healing. I guess Estelle maybe does. So I guess we'll just focus our attention on the pumpkin pump. Pity that's literally the only spell in the game that's water elemental and targets more than one enemy. Later games were better about it, but you know, this is the first trails in the sky and they didn't really balance the magic very well anyway. And I already forgot where I was going. Go me! So let's see. North side is just a wall. Wait, did those two pathways just go to the same place? Ah, eh, well, monster chest number two, I suppose. Oops. And because you liked this so much the first time, we're gonna do it again. What if we actually have... I get cast to magic. Unfortunately, he has the two elements that they're not weak to. So that's nice. Whatever. That's a lot of A's. Oh, well, it didn't suck, I suppose. Ooh, didn't quite get him. Can we white Gehenna them again? 
I am so glad I gave Joshua that cast torch. I think that was another thing they nerfed to Oblivion in future games. That's that thing. Let's move out. We get demi handers. Say, haven't we met before? Uh, no, this is my first time, actually. Nice to meet you. Presumably a weapon for Joshua? Yeah, okay. Huh. 38 strength bonus? That's pretty decent. So that goes there. Yeah, this dungeon isn't so much confusing as it just has a lot of paths that go nowhere. So it looks like to get that other chest, we're gonna need to go to the middle. You know, an annoying thing about Trails to Zero, and presumably Trails to Azure, or Trails from Zero, Trails to Azure, you can't change the camera. And that's a lot of burbs. Like, I was really used to that with Trails in the Sky and Cold Steel, and not being able to do it is actually kind of a pain. <laughs> 